Hello guys, welcome to Fire Racer Workshop and today's video we are gonna be performing another experiment on ORCAD. Now the aim of the experiment is to design and verify the operation of half arrows. Now I've already done 6 experiments from the BDEC second semester electronic device. So do check them out from the link in the description box below or click on the pop up R button to view the whole playlist of those experiments. Now I've already done the experiments on 6 different types of logic gates, so do check that video out by clicking on the pop up R button. So that's a really important video and that's gonna act as a base for this video. Now this is what today's circuit is gonna look like on the ORCAD and this is what the simulation of the circuit will look like. Now I'ma give you a brief introduction about the half adders. So these are the two ICs that we're gonna be using in today's experiment. So first one is an AND gate. And the second one is an OR gate IC. So this is an XOR gate, so exclusive OR gate IC. So the number of the IC is 74LS08 and 74LS86. So this is what the circuit is gonna look like. So this is the XOR gate IC and this is the AND gate IC. Essentially, we're gonna give our inputs from these two sides. So this is gonna be our input one. This is going to be our input 2 and we are going to receive two outputs. So this is going to be output 1, this is going to be output 2 and on the first output we are going to have the sum of the bit, the, uh, the sum of the bits that have been entered as the inputs and on the second one we are going to have the carry or the multiplication of the bits that have been entered. So according to the truth table these um, these logic gates will give their respective outputs. So let me show you the truth table. So for the AND gate, so this is the truth table for the AND gate IC that we are going to be using. Okay, so I've just covered the whole, whole uh, I've just covered the basics of this IC in my video. So do check that out. And again, for the XOR gate, so this is the truth table for the XOR gate. So accordingly, it will give the outputs. And both of these are connected in parallel to the input signals. So these are, you can just call them as independent of one another, but the whole circuit is called the half adder. So let's just make the circuit on our software, that is the ORCAT software. So let's just fire up the software. So let's just go to file, new, project, analog or mixed AD. We are just going to select this option, name our project as um, half adder. Now this circuit has pretty limited uh, application. Let's just cross out this chart page. Okay. So over here we have just got ourselves a new page on the ORCAD. Okay. So click on the P. Now this is going to give you the parts. Now let's just type in the first IC name. So that's the 74LS08. So we're going to click on the IC that has the simulation profile enabled. So this one has this one this ic has a simulation profile you can see the both the icons have been shown here so this has a piece by simulation profile so double tap on this okay now the next ic is 86 so next ic 74 ls86 now So this one has the simulation profile for the piece by so double tap on this one. It's just gonna import it over here. So let's just import our digital sources. So for this, you're just gonna select the source library. So let's just scroll down. So these are just like, these are arranged according to their name. So let's just click on source. Over here you can see D-I-G-C-L-O-C-K. So this is the input that we are gonna give to our circuit, the half header. So this is gonna act as an input. So we need two of these. Just rotate it and just place it a bit up over here. The place the second one over here. Okay, so we have just placed two of these disk sims D S T I M two and D S T I M one. So let's just rename this this time because last time we didn't rename this. So let's just rename it as X and rename it as Y. So let's just adjust the off time. So we're just going to set the off time to, uh, for this one, let's just set it to five millisecond. So the on time is going to be equal to the off time because we want a 50% duty cycle. 
So the on time will be around 5 milliseconds as well. So for this, let's just set the off time to 10 milliseconds. Now if you don't know why I'm setting this type of parameters, you can just check out my previous video. In that I've just explained this in detail. Why am I setting this? So I'm not gonna explain this again. So this is all set. Now what we need is something to get the output on. So what we're gonna do is on the tool on this palette over here, we're just gonna click on this option called the place port. And on this, you can just place any of the uh, first five uh, first five of these things. So I'm just gonna place the first one. So let's click here, add it over here. And now we're also gonna just move these labels or the parameters for this particular one a bit up so that they are outside the wiring range so that we just don't run wire on them and the circuit looks a bit messy. So let's just wire everything up. This is gonna be a dead simple wiring. So this will be hooked up to the first and for this one as well and this will be hooked up to the second okay now let's just hook up these both so instead of port both L and port both L for both of these so I'm just gonna rename this now we are all set so all the parameters have been set correctly so let's just open up PSpice, create a new simulation profile, name the simulation profile as trial. I'm supposed like I'm assuming it to be 11 because I've just created many simulation profiles. So let's just create, create on click, create, sorry, not click, create. So this is the simulation settings. Now what we're gonna do is the runtime we want, we want to at least capture one of these. So complete pulses, so the complete, the complete time period will be around 20 milliseconds so we're gonna type in 20 milliseconds and maximum step size we're just gonna go with 0.1 millisecond just go with a lower value because like go with the 0.1 millisecond then only your ratings will look a bit precise so make sure that you just um, change the setting so just change it to 0.1 millisecond surely so and we are always gonna stay at time domain analysis, okay? So just we are just gonna do a time domain transient analysis. We are not gonna do DC sweep or AC sweep or bias point, only the time domain analysis. Make sure, click on apply, click on okay, and just run the simulation now. It will take some time to run the simulation. And here we go. So let's just click on trace, add a trace. So D stem X and D stem Y, these are the inputs, and over here, add and carry, these are the outputs. So over here you can see, we have got our, uh, our results, so for example, when the first input is at zero, and the second input is at zero, then the add is gonna be at zero, and the carry is gonna be at zero. When the first input is at high, or one, and the second input is at zero, the sum is gonna be one and the carry that's the product is gonna be zero and for this one as well when the first input is at zero and the second input is at one the add is gonna be one but the carry is gonna be zero so and for the last so when both the inputs are at one so uh, d, uh, d stim what is this called so d stim x and d stim y are at one so our add is gonna be at zero and our carry is gonna be at one. So over here, we have just completed the simulation. Okay, and let's just, we can just like verify the truth table and you can see the truth table right on your screen right now. So as you can see, the truth table has been verified for this experiment. So our experiment has been complete. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video and don't forget to share, like, share, subscribe and share this video with your friends because th this video might be really helpful for them if they're preparing for their practicals. So thank you all for watching. See ya.